basically I'm pointing the direction of accountability, personal accountability. Uh, you know, I, I hear that. I love Paul. Um, so, 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 all right. Um, based on uh, how do you change that perception? Is that the question? Um, I mean, it obviously comes from the people who make that those judgments have to change their perception. Um, anybody in authority of any kind are the ones that can make decisions um, that may or may not be based on racist or stereotypical ideas. Um, so, unfortunately, what needs to change is the whole system, uh, which will then change individuals within the system. And the only way to do that is, I think, um, I mean, I'm not a big proponent of American capitalism, but I'm an American capitalist economic uh, expert, John Nash, invented the, um, or discovered, I guess, the game theory, which means that everybody involved should do exactly what they want. And it's based on economics, how do you get the best um, business-related uh, marketing tools and marketing ideas. And I think if you Put that, project that onto race, racial um, relationships between uh, different races and ethnicities. If every group does exactly what they think they should be doing, you know, within the boundaries of morality, then I think that will, in time, have the best consequences. Now, I agree with where you guys are your standpoint, but then I feel at the same time, when you go to work, you, you work in the corporate world, right? You the work time. When you go into work and you, you feel the type of way, when you start expressing your mind too much, it's like you get the angry blackness. That guy can't express his feelings too much. And you say you want to be yourself, but at that same point, when you be yourself, you get chugged away like, oh, we can't promote him to the next level because this guy is angry. And you're, in reality, he's the same way you feel, but he's expressing it a different way, a different light. And he's trying to get to the next level, but it's like, whoa, he's giving too much at one time. And we got, we got to cut him off, we got to shut him down. He's a mess of a whole atmosphere here and what we're trying to accomplish. And I feel that sometimes where you get that cynicism where we can't be who we want to be in, in the workplace at that point. In, in the corporate world, how, how would you address that issue? Well, I, I hear what you're saying and I agree with what you're saying. And we have to look at historical and cultural reasons, political reasons, why mm. that is. He's the angry black man. Why is he angry? Why does he seek to occur? Never stop occurring, whether we express it through any form of art we choose to. You know, okay. there's an expression of anger somewhere along the line that needs to be addressed, and can only be addressed by us. I see that for God. You know, I love where we're going with this. But we gotta, we gotta take a break for a second. Because we actually have to go over to Tyler.